One of my favorite things to do on the grill is grilled vegetables, okay? Uh, just a really nice, fresh, al dente bite with a quick sauce on it. Uh, sings my song and has a great side uh, or even afternoon snack. So let's go ahead and get started on grilled vegetables 101 on the Kamada Joe. So one thing I would imagine that would drive a lot of people crazy is flipping these little half moons of squash and zucchini. I'm not into it. Let me show you my way I like to spear these and then we'll grill them as straight spears. So, you know, these zucchini are relatively small for zucchini, so I might even just do these in half. Bell pepper, your choice. You can keep it whole as is and throw it directly on the charcoal and get it all blistered up and wipe it off. Or you can cut it into segments and blister char it as well, your choice. Onions, I find, are best cut into discs. And let me show you how I like to do that. All right, so we've got a lovely tray of prepared vegetables. Um, let's go ahead and get a little bit of oil on there and a little bit of seasoning. I've got my grill at 500 degrees. You want it anywhere between 500 and 600. The idea is to get some char at this point. We're not necessarily trying to cook the vegetable all the way through. In fact, we're definitely not trying to cook the vegetable all the way through because you're going to destroy all the nutrients. And the reason you're eating these delicious vegetables is not only because they're tasty, but because you want to get the nutritional value. So 500 or higher. And you can hear it hissing a little bit. That's what we want to hear. Trying to squeeze them all on here. It's a lot of, a lot of delicious vegetables going on. And then since we don't really have room, we can just kind of pop these guys skin side down. Onion discs, we could put on the grill grate, but since we've got the cast iron griddle here, that'll be just fine as well. And made one more hit of season. Now, again, we're not trying to cook these all the way right now. We're just trying to get a nice char on. So this is going to be a lid up cook. We're still going to get plenty of natural lump charcoal flavor and the char from the connection between the vegetable itself and the grill grates. Now we can be done at this point and just grill it up, slice it, we've got veg, but I do like a little bit of sauce. And so this is one that's been very popular for me for the last couple of years. It's a ginger maple miso. And you can use it as a vinaigrette on a salad as well. Let's get into it. We're gonna drop a little bit of miso in. This is a fermented soybean paste. You can get it at any grocery store. Next, soy sauce. A knob of ginger. We're just gonna run, you don't even need to peel it. Eat like a local. We're just gonna knock a little bit. That's good. Smell those vegetables. All right, ginger's in. We're gonna go with a little bit of maple syrup. White wine vinegar. All right, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and blitz it up. It's looking good, that's our base. Now I'm gonna use my microplane and just get a little lemon zest in there to brighten the whole thing up. And this is so great on vegetables. All right. Now we'll pull, put our lid back on. And this has these little holes here that we're gonna drizzle our oil in. Right, let's take a look at our sauce. Hmm, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and flip our vegetables. Liking what I'm seeing. Beautiful. Onion discs, we'll go ahead and get a spatula for those. Oh yeah, the char is so nice. Done it. All right, let's transfer all of our vegetables onto the cutting board. All right, let's spread these out just a little bit so they can cool down. And now that we have everything off of the cutting board, 
Now's when we're gonna slice them, okay? So we're gonna slice them into uh, probably about a medium to large dice, if you will. And I'll show you how I like to do that. So we've got them all stacked up here. And I'm just gonna slice, slice, slice. And that is a wonderful little medley of squash and zucchini right there. Just stunning. I and mean, we still got a lot of bite, or uh, just, it's not overcooked, it's not, not soft, but we've got this great char. And we only had to flip one time versus having to skewer everything or flip, 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 flip. All right, now let's look at our onion discs and our bell peppers. Uh, these feel nice and softened just a little bit, so we can, again, slice these into bite size pieces and that red's gonna go really nice. The flavor profile is gonna round us out. A couple more squash. The onion discs we're gonna cut into quarters. So just straight down. And now we'll spread that throughout. And those that sweetness of the caramelized onion is absolutely stunning. We've already seasoned these, so we could be done at this point. But don't forget, we made the uh, the maple miso vinaigrette, so we could dress this and put it on a platter if we want to. But I have other ideas, you know I do. Okay, so let's just stop right there. We slightly oiled, uh, we we cut into spears. We slightly oiled. We seasoned and we char grilled, okay? That could be absolutely done. There is nothing wrong with just taking a bite of that or serving that as a side of a steak or uh, you know, a filet of fish, whatever you like. But I wanna put this back on the grill, on that cast iron griddle, pour some of that maple miso on there, and then maybe deglaze or flambe with a little bourbon. I mean, that's just, you know, what, whatever you wanna do, right? Okay, so. When I say we're flambéing with bourbon, it's a great way to instill residual sugars and those vanilla notes and those oak notes. It's a beautiful thing, but I want you to be extremely careful if you're gonna do it, okay? I don't like to pour straight out of the bottle. I've got some smooth ambler here, all right? A really nice bourbon. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a safe way to do it, but I'm telling you, don't do it at home, okay? Uh, we can do it at block parties, we can do this. It's a great way to instill flavor, but I just want you to be safe. Yeah. Mm. Now the cool thing is, if you did that with the bourbon, you can pair your meal with the bourbon knowing that the, the bourbon is gonna pair perfectly with your vegetables because you cooked it with the same, it's called bridging, right? We used it to cook with and then we drank it with it and it makes sense because it's the same, same, same. Same, same, yeah. Um, not only vegetables made easy, but vegetables made extremely exciting. Uh, great glaze on all these. Oh, I just wanna bite that onion right there. Look at that, that is perfect for me. Mm. Grilled vegetables 101 on the Kamada Joe. Folks, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, do leave us a comment. And thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, really, really appreciate your time. Uh, for my backyard years, cheers and happy grilling.